Hey there, Storytime friends. As you can see, today we're out here in the tool shed. Got lots of tools behind me. But today we're going to be learning about houses and how to build them. So we're going to have a houses and building story time. We got a lot of cool, cool books to look at today. Some pop up books, some books with little pieces that come out. And we're going to learn about tools. Um, you know, what people use to build things with. And we're going to have a little puppet show, too, hopefully. So let's get started. What do you guys think? Um, do you guys have a room like this at home? Do you guys have a bunch of tools at home? Do you recognize any of these tools that you can see behind me? Hmm. I can recognize some. I can see some that I've used before. <clears throat> well, let's take a look up close. We've got this book right here. It's called My Little Red Toolbox. And this book has a lot of cool stuff in it. So it's gonna teach us how to use tools by Stephen T. Johnson. So we got a square here. What's that shape called? Got one, two, three, four sides. It's a square. I keep my favorite tools in my little red toolbox. Tools help me make things. Before I start building, I always draw a plan of my ideas with my pencil. I measure the lines with my ruler to get just the right sides. So the first thing you do before you build anything is you gotta plan it out. You gotta take your pencil and your ruler and you gotta make a design. So the ruler helps you make straight lines. So if you're trying to build something like a house, you definitely wanna have straight lines so your house doesn't fall down, right? That would be awful if your house fell down. It would be like, you wouldn't have a house to live in anymore. Where would you go? Would you go to your brother's house somewhere that you could go possibly? Well, let's build a new house. Let's figure out, keep going through our toolbox here. Well, what's this shape? Got a slab of wood here. This looks like a square, but it's a, it's a rectangle because it's got four sides like a square, but two of the sides are not equal to the other sides. So a square has four equal sides and a rectangle has four sides, but they're not equal. Let's see. When I need more than one piece of wood, I measure with my ruler to decide where to cut. Then I mark the spot with my pencil. I use my saw to cut the wood in two. So that's your pencil and your ruler again. They tell you where use your saw. We've got it marked here on the wood right in the center. Well, that's a good sound. Normally you wouldn't do a you wouldn't point a saw at yourself when you're sawing. <laughs> I'm just holding this book in a strange way. We're just gonna saw like that away from ourselves. Oh let's put the saw back in the toolbox. Keep going here. What else do we got? Oh, what shape is this? One, two, three sides. It's a triangle. It's got some holes in it, some circles. Three holes drill. I can make holes with my drill. I can drill into metal or stone or into the wood that I cut with my saw. Hmm, so this looks like an interesting drill. Let's take this out. Oh, it's got a little crank on it. You can turn it. This is like an old timey drill. So you would turn this little crank and the bit up here will spin and it'll let you drill into things, drill holes. So the author of this book must have used this drill to drill those holes. So let's put the drill back where we found it. That's the most important part, right? When we use someone's tools, we gotta take good care of them. Let's put them back. All right. 
Oh, what's this shape? Is it a square? Is it a rectangle? That's a diamond. A diamond shape. This is technically a rectangle. <laughs> this book's going to call it a diamond. So what else do we have? The screwdriver. To hold things together, I use screws. I use my screwdriver to put the screws into the holes that I made with my drill. So this thing is what we use to keep things in place with screws. I'm gonna put it in the bolts here. Twist them real tight. You wanna do righty tighty, lefty loosey. Left is how you untighten things. You tighten them to the right to get them nice and snug. There we go. Let's put our screwdriver back in there. Ooh, this one looks like a fun one. What shape is this? Circle. I can also use bolts instead of screws. To tighten the bolts, I need my wrench. So this is kind of like a screwdriver. Wow. But it's a, a wrench. So it's got two sides. Let's see. Oh, fits perfectly. All right. Let's tighten it to the right. All right. All right. Now we're going to do this one up here. Oh, all right. And, oh, we got to go to the big side to get this one. All right. All right. It doesn't really look like it, but these are two different sizes for different sized bolts. All right, let's put our wrench back where we found it. Let's see, what's the last thing here in our toolbox? A hammer. And what is this shape here? It's got a lot of sides. You know what shape this is, right? This is a star. Now I can hammer away with my hammer and nails. I love to make things. When I work with my tools, I always have fun. And I build, build, build. Now, you got to take this hammer here to get these nails down. You want to be real careful. And All right. I think it's safe. I think it's secure. We've got a good, good toolbox here. Lots of helpful stuff in there. So now that we've learned what kind of tools people use to build a house, why don't we read another book? This book is called Building a House. And this will be real easy. This is uh, by Byron Barton. This will be real quick. So we've got our tools, and now we can see how the boys on this roof up here are going to use to put their tools to good use build a house on a green hill there's nothing there yet a machine digs a big hole so it's starting with a big hole digging up a big hole builders hammer and saw Looks like they're building a square, huh? What shape would you say that? Looks like they're going to have four sides to that shape. A cement mixer pours cement. Oh, now it looks like a rectangle, huh? You see any tools? I can use any tools in my tool I sure don't. Looks like there's a lot more goes into building a house than we expected, huh? Bricklayers lay large white blocks. Whoa. So he's laying some kind of structure. Let's cement. Keep the bricks in place. Carpenters come and make a wooden floor. Ah, so they were building the floor for the house. That's a pretty good first step, right? You got to have a nice floor or else you're 
Your walls don't have anything to sit on top of. Then they put up the Now the Oh look. He's using a hammer and nails. That's a tool that we just saw. They build a roof. Some more hammering. Putting some wood in place. So it looks like they're using wood and bricks so far. But the wood is sort of like a, a skeleton. Imagine this would be like the bones of the house up here. A bricklayer builds a fireplace and a chimney too. Oh, and they're saying back here, laying down something on the roof. What it is? Roof tiles? There sure is a lot going here. A plumber puts in pipes for water. Oh, wow. That's a lot of pipes. And we don't see those pipes in our house if there's so many of them. Where are they? It looks like they're going through the floor huh? and the wall. Huh. An electrician wires for electric lights. Ah, now we can see the walls are in place. And the electrician is using, oh, what's that he's using? A screwdriver. He must be putting that in place with some screws. Good thing we know about our tools. It helps us read this book. Carpenters put in windows and doors. But this guy's carrying in a door. There's a guy behind him putting in a window. Oh, and look behind that guy. There's his toolbox. What's that he got in his back pocket? Is that a, a ruler, probably? He probably needs a ruler, right? Painters paint inside and out. What colors are they painting? Looks like maybe three colors. So the guy outside, what color is he painting the house? Red. And it looks like a lady inside is painting the inside of the house white. Ooh. Oh, but what about the roof and the trim on the windows here? What color is that? Green. Oh, well, we can see the guy's buckets of paint there. The workers leave. Wow. There it is. There's the house they built. It's like they're getting all their tools, packing them all up. Does anyone know what this is called? Helps you get up to high places. A ladder. And be careful when you go up ladders. The house is built. Well, it looks like someone's coming up, coming up from down the road here. It says moving on the side of the van. The family moves inside, and there are the movers helping them with their stuff in their brand new house, brand new red and green house, little Christmas house. Well, that's really, that was a really good book, huh? We learned a lot, and we learned how to use, how these tools are used when a house is built, you know? And we, what else did we also learn? We learned that there's a lot more that we don't know about that is involved in building a house. So there must be, must be really complicated process, huh? Oh, oh, did you hear that? I think someone's knocking at the tool shed. Just. Oh, we got, we got some surprise guests here. We've got the, uh, the three little pig brothers. Oh, hey there, Mr. Chase. Oh, how you doing? How you doing, little red pig? Cool. Hey there, Mr. Chase. How you doing, blue pig? Good to see you again. Hey there, Mr. Chase. How's it going today? It's good. It's it's growing great, Mr. Pig, Mr. Green Pig. We got uh 
we're hanging out in the in the tool shed as you can see today we've got uh lots of uh we're learning about building houses and learning about tools yeah there's there's a there's lots of cool tools in here but um i'm not really interested in any of this stuff oh what are what are you interested in blue peg mm, eating lunch and dinner yeah well <laughs> i can't argue with that everyone loves a good lunch and dinner oh well uh, you know, our mom actually, I think, is making dinner soon, so, uh, wait, you guys, I want to see the, the tools and stuff. I want to learn about the tools. Oh, we don't have time for that, Red Pig. We got to get back for dinner. Yeah, we got to get back for dinner. Oh, okay, Mr. Chase, but can I, can you show me the tools another time? I want to learn about building, too. Yeah, sure, Red Pig. We can um we can do that another time if you guys got to get back home. I understand. Oh, okay. That sounds great. I'll see you later then. All right. See you guys later. Sounds really important. I guess this is a important dinner. You know, let's uh let's find out. Let's let's try and see if we can find find out what's going on with that dinner. Why is it so important? So one evening, Mama Pig called her three little pigs over for dinner, but it wasn't another regular dinner that night. This was a special dinner. Oh, hello, boys. Oh, hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. I'm so glad you made it in time for dinner. I have an important announcement to make. Oh, what's that, Mom? Well, boys, you've gotten to that age, and it's time for you to to move out. You can't live here anymore with your mother. You've got to get on and live your old your old lives out there in the big wide world. Oh, but Mom, who, oh my God, who's gonna make me dinner at night? Well, you're gonna have to make dinner for yourself, son. Oh, shucks. Uh, Mom, but where am I going to live? What kind of, uh, well, we don't have a house to live in. Well, son, you're going to have to build your own house. Now, I can help you with that if you like. Ah, shucks. Mom, if I got to build my own house, I'll just do it myself. Ah, yikes. Okay. Oh, you guys are, you guys are being really rude. You know, Mom, it's okay. I understand. Well, we'll do our best out there and I'll, and I'll, I'll make sure that, that these guys have a house to live in and that we all have food to eat as well. Oh, you are always the reliable son. You can, you can, I, I can trust you, I know, but make sure your brothers at least have a house built for themselves as well. You can, you might go crazy having to live with them. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Well, enough, enough of that talk, boys. We have one last dinner together. So let's eat this wonderful dinner I've prepared. Oh boy, I can't wait. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Thanks for dinner, Mom. Yeah, thanks for dinner, Mom. So that night, Mama Pig and the little pig had their last dinner together on the Mama Pig roof. And the next morning, the three little pigs set out on their own to build their houses. Now, they hadn't listened when they came over about learning about tools and how to build a house for me. And they didn't listen when their mom tried to tell them how to build a house. So let's see what, let's see how well they do with their, with their house building, okay? Let's see, let's see what they do. So let's check in with Green Pig first, the oldest brother. Green pig is walking along. Oh, this will be a great place to build my house. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't have a lot of money. So, and then Green pig saw some straw over in the field. I'll just use this straw. Yeah, that's the nearest thing. And it's easy for me to find. So, 
you took as much straw as you could carry back to this little spot over here. And he worked all day long. Oh, well, well, this sure is hard. This, this is really hard to do. But at the end of the day, he had a nice little straw house for himself. Oh, oh, oh boy. This is great. He was feeling pretty good and pretty comfy in that straw house. It was nice and soft, nice and cozy. His middle brother, Blue Pig, was having a similar day. He was walking around outside. Well, I don't really know much about building houses, uh, and I don't have much money, but hey. What's it over there? He saw a bunch of wood on the ground. Oh, oh, I could just use these sticks and stuff. I think that's what you make a house out of, right? You gotta have some wood in there. Well, he's not totally wrong. So he took a bunch of wood that he found in the forest and he hauled it all the way back. And he worked all day long. <laughs> oh man, I'm sweating. I'm sure I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm really hungry now. But at the end of the day, he also had a nice house made of wood to live in. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I think <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm going to go to sleep. Let's let you pick. Get some rest. He's had a long day. Why don't we go check in with Red Pig? Now, Red Pig had a another idea in mind. Well, you know, I didn't really learn anything about building houses when I had the chance. I don't think if I tried to build a house, it would be very good. Maybe I should go learn a thing or two. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So Red Pig... He walked on down to the library, and he checked out a book. Oh, building a house. This is great. This will show me what to do. So he checked that book out, and he read it from front to cover, <laughs> cover to cover, a bunch of times. Oh, yeah, I see now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. He spent all night. Reading the book he checked out. And then he brought it back to the library in the morning. So the next day, Red Pig, he went over to the store and he bought some bricks. This is going to be what I need to really make a good house. Well, I'll need wood, of course, too. But I can find that in the forest. So he bought some bricks and he went to the forest and collected some wood. And then he went. He found himself a place to build a house. And he spent all day. Oh, oh this is real hard work. What do you mean, bricks? <laughs> oh. Using his hammer and his tools and all of his bricks and materials to build a nice brick house. Oh, oh, oh boy. I'm making a castle. Whee! He had a very comfortable house. And at the end of the day, he was also pretty hungry. Oh, you know what? Now I'm going to get to work on a... I guess I should see what I want to do for dinner. Well, <laughs> don't fall out of your window, Red Pig. Oh, thanks for catching me. <laughs> well, let's check back in with your brothers and see how they were doing. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, looks like Blue Pig's still asleep, and Green Pig is enjoying himself. So it turns out we didn't notice someone around the corner. They didn't notice that around the corner, the big bad wolf was coming. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? Oh, oh, oh. 
the big bad wolf was just walking through the neighborhood. Well, well, I smell. I smell some piggies. Mmm. Where are those pigs at? Mmm. They must be really bad. I can smell one real good. Mmm. And he went walking through the forest until he came upon the straw house that Green Pig lives. Ooh, hey, hey, little piggy in there. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, that's a wolf. Oh, that's the big bad wolf. I got, hey, you, you get out of here, you creep. <laughs> hey, I see you just have a little house made of straw. Why don't you let me in? Oh, can you let me in then? Oh, well, not by the hair of my chitty chin chair, I won't. All right, then. Well, then, on the count of three, I'm going to blow your house down. One, two, three. And the big bad wolf took a big, deep breath and blew the straw house down. <coughs> Little green pig's house had been blown away in a single instant. <laughs> well, if you don't want to let me in, then I suppose you can come out here with me. Oh, no! Oh! Little green pig didn't have anywhere to go, so he ran all the way down through the forest, <gasps> getting chased by the big bad wolf the whole way. <clears throat> His brother's house. Oh, let me in, brother, let me in. Oh, let me in. What's this? Who's this? Oh. Blue Pig opened the door right away and let in his brother. Don't worry, brother. No big bad wolf coming. Well, you'll be safe in here. I got a really strong house made of wood. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Hey there, little piggies. <coughs> Ooh, piggies. Hey, why don't you let me in that wooden house you got there? Oh, it's not better here. Well, then I'll huff and I'll buff and I'll Blow your house down. One, two, three. And the wolf did the same thing. He let out a huge, terrible blast. And the blue pig's house blew away. Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that, brother. I guess my house wasn't as strong as I thought it was. Oh, that's okay, brother. That wasn't either. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. Oh. <laughs> and the big bad wolf took the two pig brothers to the forest. And they didn't have anywhere else to go. So they ran all the way to their little brother's house. Red pig. <coughs> oh. Let us in, Red Pig. Let us in. Oh, what? What? Hey, hey, what's going on out there, guys? What's the matter? Oh, oh, the big bad wolf. He's on his way. He's coming. He's going to get us. Oh, oh, hurry up, hurry, hurry up. So Red Pig let in his brothers. Oh, <laughs> he fell out the window to go unlock the door. And let them in. And then, once his brothers were inside, he ran back around and locked the door behind him so that they couldn't be followed. Ooh, now that looks like a well-made house. Mm -hmm. Yep, I can see that there were some bricks and some wood. And, oh, yeah, that's a real nice house. Ooh, ooh. and it smells like... Mm, Smells like there's another piggy in there. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, get out of here, big bad wolf. 
This is no place for you. This is our house. Hey there, little peas. Why don't you let me in? Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Well then, on the count of three, I'm going to huff and puff and blow your house down. One, two, three. <gasps> and the big bad wolf took in a big deep breath and... <laughs> But nothing happened. Huh? What? What's going on? <gasps> and he tried again. <sighs> but he couldn't knock over the house. <laughs> That's right, you stinky old wolf. That's because I made this house real well. You'll never be able to knock it down with your stinky breath. Yeah, yeah, my little brother's a genius. Yeah, this is the best built house ever. You'll never be able to find a way inside. Ha, 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 ha. Hmm. Now, the wolf, he was a clever guy. So he started looking around for a way in. Hmm. I bet. I bet I could get inside somehow. And he saw that there was a chimney. Hmm. I'll try that out. <laughs> but Red Pig knew that the wolf would try to go down the chimney. Don't worry, you guys. I'm planning for this. Let's put this big pot of boiling soup at the bottom of the chimney. We're going to have wolf for dinner tonight. And then the wolf tried to come in the chimney, and he could find that it would fit him. So he dove right in. Woo! I'm coming for you, little pigs. <laughs> Wah! But when he hit the bottom, he fell into a little red pig broth. Oh, whew. we sure had a day, didn't we, bros? Yeah, that was really scary, but you're so smart, little bro. Thanks for saving us. Yeah, that was crazy. You got the best, the best house and the best cooking skills. You know what? I think we should call mom. You know what? Yeah, you're right. Let's share what we learned with her. Here, go call her up. So the boys called their mother over for dinner that night. Hey, mom. Oh, my boys. How's, how's life there in the world treating you? Well, it's been real scary, but we brought something over for you. Some dinner that we made. Yeah, isn't that right, Bruce? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we made it. Well, there was more little red pig here that made it. Oh, little red pig. Let's see. What do we have here? Oh, is this a wolf stew? You got it. Oh, let's take a taste there. Uh, boys, uh, you're going to want to... Uh, Take the fur off of that wolf before you cook it next time. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> well, I hope you guys like that little telling of the three little pigs in the tool shed here. A story about building houses and building houses correctly. You got to make sure that you have a nice house so the big bad wolf doesn't get in, right? <laughs> well, we sure learned how to do that today with the books that we read. And I'm glad that the little pigs learned their lesson too. So until next time, I'm Mr. Chase. I'm the children's librarian. And this has been sponsored by the Library Friends and Foundation who sponsors all of our online programs and stuff. And we're real happy to have you guys still watching. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you next time.